Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Figma designs to sketch files uh, using a plugin called Convertify. So to use Convertify, we just need to install it from the plugin directory if you haven't already done so. And to do that, we can just go up to our little Figma icon in the top left of the app and click on that. And then if you go down to community or plugins, and it's probably just easiest to search for the word Convertify. So that's uh, C O N V E R T I F Y. And if you search for that, you'll see a result pop up called Convertify Figma to Sketch. And I've already got it installed. That's why I've got a little checkbox here with the word install ne installed next to it. Uh, but yours might just say install. And in that case, you want to go ahead and click on the button on the right hand side and wait for it to say installed and then you'll be ready to go. So now that we've got that installed, I can switch back into my Figma project. Uh, I've got a few projects that I'm going to go through just to show you what it looks like to convert different types of files. Um, but for now, I'm just going to use this Apple UI kit uh, design. So the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere, uh, go down to plugins and then click on Convertify Figma to Sketch. And that's just going to fire up the plugin we just installed a moment ago. And once it loads, you'll see that the interface is very simple. Uh, there's only a few things going on here. The first one is the page name. So you can see at the top, it's got the word cover page, uh, which correlates to the page that I'm currently on. Uh, if I were to change the page that I'm on, uh, you'll notice that the page name changes in the plugin as well. Uh, so it responds to whatever the page is currently being selected to. And uh, the second thing you'll notice is that we've got a little uh, time estimate here. So it's estimating that on this page, it's going to take roughly 14 seconds to convert 557 layers. And that estimate will change again dynamically based on what page you select. Um, so if there's more layers, typically it'll take uh, longer to convert. And if there's less, it'll be much quicker. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to use the, co the cover page and it's telling us it should take roughly 14 seconds. Um, so the only thing to do here is click on the button that says convert to sketch. And as you can see with the icon, uh, it's telling us that it's going to convert Figma uh, to a sketch file for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. And you can see here it's telling us that it's converting. Uh, we can see the little animation happening, uh, implying that the layers are currently being processed. And now it's bundling our sketch file, uh, packaging that up for us. And there we go. So it's giving us a little download prompt. Uh, by default, it will name it whatever your Figma file is called. And then in brackets, it will add the page name that you've selected and today's date as well. So you can, of course, rename this if you want to. Um, but in my case, I'm just going to leave it as the default and save it to my desktop. So I've just click save and uh, once again, we can see the confirmation message is just telling us that the sketch file is ready and uh, telling us that we can download it. So now that I've downloaded it, I'm just going to go to my desktop and I can see here that it's indeed saved it to my desktop uh, with the file name. And we can see here that that's a file type of a sketch drawing. So it is a dot sketch file. Um, so now that I've got that saved, I can just double click on that and that will open it up for me in sketch. So here we go. I've got sketch open. Uh, and you can see it's converted our design from Figma as we'd expect. Um, if I put those side by side, um, just to make it a little bit easier for you to see, um, I'll close off the plugin. And you can see if we line these up, uh, it's, it's converted them uh, just as we'd expect from Figma. Um, so this is all editable uh, text. So if we wanted to edit this layer, uh, can edit that text and that is uh, all as you'd expect. Um, so it's uh, now from sketch, sketch from Figma. So I'm just going to update that. And you can see down here we've got uh, these, these little groups. These are being saved as groups so I can drag those around and that'll all move together. Um, if I expand my layers you can see if we compare it to Figma, uh, all the layers have been carried over. So we can see 22nd of June, 22nd of June, and all the layers are in order and all as you'd expect. Um, 
and same thing with layers so layers uh, have all been exported with uh, images so we've got images uh, we've got an image fill over here we've got shadows so we can turn those on and off uh, just as you'd expect and so it's really carrying over every layer uh, one for one from Figma itself uh, so that's really cool so that, that was a one-click process uh, very very quick as you saw um, this this file only has about 500 layers so that's why it was it was fairly quick um, but now I'm just going to go through a couple of other file types just to show you what they look like as well. Um, so I'll close off this file for the time being and just make uh, Figma a little bit bigger once again. And I'm going to switch over to a much simpler file uh, as well. So this one is just a, a three frame file. Uh, it's three very simple pages and I just want to show you the speed of, of it converting a very simple file. So once again, I'm just going to click on uh, the Convertify icon. Uh, now that we've already run it once uh, in this file, uh, you'll see it pop up on the right hand side. So you can just click on the little Convertify icon and you'll see the little subtitle that says Convert Page to Sketch, just telling you what it's going to be doing. And that's just a really quick way of firing up the plugin again. Uh, so once again, it's just giving us the page name so we can confirm that it's going to convert the master page. And because this uh, file only has 57 layers, it's telling us it's going to take about one second. So we can try that out once again, just by clicking on convert to sketch. And yeah, it's fairly accurate. It took literally one second to convert that one. Uh, so that, that's just an idea of how fast it can actually uh, export files if you, if you have a really small file, uh, very quick. So I can open that one up just to see what it looks like and uh, that's opened it up for us. Um, the thing I wanted to call out in this file is that um, because I, don't have, I didn't have the font installed uh, on my computer, uh, Sketch is telling me up in the top right hand corner here that it's got missing fonts. So if I click on that little missing fonts uh, button, it's just gonna come up with a little drop down saying uh, these three fonts uh, couldn't be found on the system so you can manually replace them. Um, so I can do that now. Um, I think that the ones used in the design were slightly different versions from the one that I had on my computer. So if that happens to you, this is all you have to do. You just have to go through uh, the missing fonts by clicking on that button in the top right. Uh, and then once you've selected the replacements, just click on the confirm button in the sketch dialog. And you can see here it's swapped those out. And now we're looking uh, very, very similar or exactly the same rather to what we can see in our uh, Figma file. And once again, these are now editable. Uh, so I can update that. So I can say Figma to sketch and that will update for me. I'll just bring that out a little bit more. There we go. And as before, all of the layers have been carried over. Uh, we've got our vector layers. So these are, these are fully carried over from Figma and I can, I can move those around obviously. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you what the font, um, the missing fonts prompt would look like and show you how to replace those fonts if you do run into that issue. Um, and also just show you the speed at which it can convert uh, files with uh, less layers. Okay, so now that we've done number two, I just wanted to show you another file. Uh, this is a little bit of a different type of file. Uh, this is one with multiple frames uh, multiple layers, multiple components being used. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like to convert a file like this. Um, so once again, we can go to the right hand column, click on Convertify. Um, so I'll fire that up once again. Um, and the thing that I wanted to demo in this file is um, if you are working in a much larger file with heaps of screens and heaps of things going on, uh, and you want to send this to somebody uh, so it's got an exact replica of what they would normally see when they open it up in Figma. Uh, I've just purposefully zoomed in on this, this exact spot here. Um, I can even zoom in a little bit more if I wanted to, uh, or I could just zoom to fit. Um, and I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it replicates the zoom level over. So if we click on uh, convert to sketch, uh, I'll just leave this running in the background. 
this one has over 2000 layers, so it's going to take more like 54 seconds. And the little note here just says it may actually be faster um, or slower depending on the number of nested layers or large images that the file has. Um, so you can see here it's, it's actually taken less than 54 seconds uh, in this case, but if you do have really big images, that can slow down the conversion a little bit. Uh, so I'm just going to save that and I'm not going to move the zoom level or the, uh, the bounds scroll level. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like when I open up the sketch file for the very first time. So if I double click on this and open it up, um, you can see here that it's exactly mirrored the zoom level and it's exactly mirrored the positioning of where I had the, the Figma um, view when I, when I converted it. So you can see here, if we compare them, we've got 22% zoom in sketch and we've got a 22% zoom uh, in Figma. So converting it from Figma to sketch with that zoom level and with that positioning. So in my, cl my case, I clicked on the uh, zoom to fit function, which centered everything. So that means that when I send this file to another designer, uh, they're going to have exactly the same overview, exactly the same positioning in zoom. Uh, that I wanted to have in Figma. So uh, obviously because Figma is a multiplayer app where you can have different designers at the same time, this, this isn't an issue in Figma. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how it does actually carry over that zoom. So if I, if I were to do another example, and if I was working on this particular part of the, the app or the design, um, if I run the plugin once more, and now I've got it uh, zoomed in at 100%, and I've got it focused on this little uh, profile mock-up with this little modal. Uh, that should open it up in Sketch, zoomed in at 100% and focused on this exact same artboard. Uh, the other thing to note is it tells you down here that Figma will freeze up uh, during this phase of the conversion where it's going through all of the layers. Um, so I just wanted to point that out as well in case you're wondering uh, why the UI is unresponsive while the, the, the plugin is converting. Uh, that's totally normal. Okay, so I've just re-exported this one. And again, if I double click on this, we should see a different zoom level and a different uh, scroll uh, level. So we can see here, if I put those side by side, um, it has replicated that zoom level and it's replicated um, the exact point where I scrolled to in the Figma design. Um, so yeah, that's just a, a neat, feature uh, that the plugin offers and it's just a nice way of being able to uh, zoom to fit everything or zoom in on a particular part in your Figma design before you actually uh, package it up for another designer. Uh, in my case I, I really like using the zoom to fit and just making it show uh, everything just so whoever's receiving that sketch file will get a clear overview of what the file contains um, but again that choice is, is totally up to you. Okay, so the next thing I want to show is a much larger file. So this is a design system. Uh, this is one of the biggest ones that I'm aware of. Uh, this is the Ant uh, design system. Uh, it's an open source design system. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to convert a file of this, this size. Um, because there's quite a lot going on here. There's, there's quite a lot of components. There's quite a lot of layers. And I just wanted to show you what that looks like in terms of speed, but also what that looks like in terms of uh, detail. Uh, so this one, I'm just gonna convert it now because uh, it's gonna take probably about three to four minutes, but this one has almost 10,000 layers. So this is a fairly large uh, file. So I'm just gonna convert this from Figma to Sketch by clicking on the Convert to Sketch button once again. And once again, uh, you'll see down here, it's telling us that it's being converted. It's converting the page. And uh, I just touched on it a moment ago, but it, it does let you know that Figma will freeze and uh, that's totally normal. Um, so for example, if I try and click on anything, uh, Figma is completely unresponsive. And just while this is converting, I'll just touch on why that is happening. Um, so the reason why I can't move the plugin around and I can't keep working while the plugin is running um, is because the functions that the plugin is doing behind the scenes uh, using the plugin API, uh, by necessity, calling um, these plugin APIs uh, basically 
hijacks the main thread of Figma. So while a plugin is doing uh, intensive querying and intensive work uh, behind the scenes, querying your Figma data, uh, Figma basically diverts all of the processing power to that, uh, that plugin process. Um, so that's the reason why the UI completely locks up. Uh, it basically doesn't do both things at the same time. And normally this would be fine because a lot of plugin uh, functions are very quick or um, don't do very much. Um, but because this plugin literally trolls through every single layer, so in this case almost 10,000 layers, and is uh, querying image data, it's manipulating data uh, behind the scenes, uh, it's doing a lot of intensive work in order to generate these sketch files and, and translate all those Figma uh, layers into sketch layers, converting all those layers. Uh, that's why it freezes the UI basically. So that's a long, a long way to say it's totally normal and you don't have to panic and wonder if it's broken. Uh, that's also the reason why it's giving you a time estimate there. Um, because if you're just seeing that kind of spinning around in circles, you're wondering, you know, is it, is it actually going to finish or not? And as we saw in the last two, this isn't really an issue when you have, you know, smaller files. Um, but again, that's why I wanted to show you in real time what it looks like to convert a file with 10,000 layers. Um, okay, so now that the conversion process is done, you can see that it's now up to the step of bundling the sketch file, which means that the UI is responsive once again um, because the processing part is finished. It's literally now just packaging up a sketch file uh, with all of the image assets, all of the layer assets, and all of the files for us. Okay, so it's just finished that, and you can see here it's giving us the, the choice to save it with the uh, project name and the page name. So again, I'm just going to opt in for the default file name and save that to my desktop. Um, I'll close off the plugin and I'll just make the window a little bit smaller so we can compare that. And if I jump back to my desktop, you can see here it's converted the ant design system. I'm gonna double click on that file, let Sketch open it up for us, and there we go. So if I put those side by side once again, uh, you can see that the positioning has stayed the same as we saw in the last segment. And yeah, it's, it's basically converted all of our artboards uh, with all the names that we'd expect, navigation, data entry. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick overview of the full file because it's quite large. Um, but yeah, you can see that it's basically gone through and converted all of those. Uh, if I just zoom in a little bit so you can see what that looks like. Um, if we jump to the same one in Figma, and try to compare those a little bit. So now we're, we're basically looking at the same uh, sections. And yeah, you can see that it's gone ahead and converted all those layers. And once again, I can jump in here and uh, edit these files, edit these layers. So that's my text layer, uh, Figma to sketch text layer. So I can edit that of course and uh, yeah these groups I can move them around as you'd expect so that's what it looks like to convert uh, a Figma file with 10,000 layers over to sketch in a few minutes uh, once again doing this manually would be uh, you know probably a project that would take days of time uh, if not longer in this case to convert all of these uh, files and designs from Figma to sketch manually uh, I've seen it happen before with designers uh, I used to work with where they had to do this for certain clients and uh, it, it took days if not weeks of time uh, to get it done if you do it manually. So that's what it looks like to convert a really big file. Uh, another one I just wanted to show you was uh, just another sort of wireframing kit or design uh, system kit. Uh, the reason I wanted to show this one is because there's quite a lot of vectors in there and I just wanted to emphasize what that looks like when they get carried over to. Um, so if I just click on the Convertify icon again, uh, I'll close off my sketch file and make uh, Figma a little bit bigger once again. 
Okay. So again, this one has about 7,000 layers. So I'm just going to convert that. Uh, it's going to take roughly three minutes. Again, it depends. It depends on how many nested layers there are and how many uh, large images there are. I don't think this one has heaps of large images. So the bundling time should be uh, a little bit faster. Uh, but the number of layers and the number of nested layers is really what determines this particular phase of the conversion uh, from Figma to Sketch. When it's going through all of the Figma layers and uh, extracting the data from them, translating that into uh, the Sketch format, that's really where the intensive stuff happens. And that's where it's trawling through all of those layers and sub layers uh, in order to, to get all those um, sketch layers the way that they should be. Um, so once again, uh, this is just going to freeze up the UI for a little bit. Uh, it's nothing to, to worry about or panic about. Um, it will eventually finish. You can just leave it for, for a couple of minutes and, and that'll work. Um, so once this converts, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Uh, the one thing that sketch doesn't support is colored backgrounds. So in our case here, we've got um, a green background on the, the canvas. Um, unfortunately, Sketch does not support that. And so we'll see in a minute that it looks a little bit different just because of that. Um, but besides that, it should convert uh, everything else. There's also a few other things that Sketch doesn't support, which Convertify kind of emulates and makes up for. Um, things like frames where you can clip frame content um, that's not actually supported in uh, sketch groups so convertify does some things behind the scenes um, to emulate that visually and make sure that it still looks the same okay so we've just finished converting this uh, wireframe kit so if I close off my plugin again jump to my desktop uh, and open up the wireframe kit file we just exported from Figma uh, to Sketch, we can see that the Sketch file, uh, as I mentioned, does not have a green canvas background um, because that's not a supported feature in Sketch. Um, but everything else has been carried over. And again, just before I convert it, I just wanted to call out uh, the vectors. So all of the vector, uh, all of the vector assets or uh, parts of the design have been carried over. So these things like um, these characters over here, we can see that uh, they're quite trendy at the moment. You've probably seen them uh, in a bunch of places. So if we just zoom in on those, uh, you can see here, once again, I got missing fonts. So I'm not, I'm not gonna replace those, but if you do need to, you can just click on the top right-hand corner and these particular fonts that were installed uh, by the designer who did this design. Uh, I don't have this font, I don't believe on my uh, computer, um, so that's why it's asking me to, to replace them now that I actually want to be able to edit them. Um, but yeah, I just did want to call out the, the vectors mainly uh, rather than the typography anyway. Um, so you can see here that it's converted those vectors uh, and yeah, they're, they're looking as we'd expect uh, from Figma and they've been carried over to Sketch. So that's really nice. Okay, so that was the, uh, the example for showing off some of the vector uh, conversion. You can see here it's quite a big file as well if we zoom out. Um, but yeah, all of the artboards have been converted from Figma over to Sketch. And once again, we haven't had to uh, recreate all of these layers. You can see just how many layers there are uh, by going through you know, the number of artboards uh, and the number of layers. It's just, it's just crazy. So. Uh, basically, we've just saved potentially days or weeks worth of work if we did need to convert this uh, Figma design over to Sketch manually. Okay, so we've converted uh, a number of files now, and I think that's a really good um, glimpse at what the plugin does, what it looks like to convert your Figma designs to Sketch files, um, and also to show you the, the variance in speed, uh, the variance in uh, performance, and show you what those different types of layers look like. So text layers, uh, group layers, vector layers, all those sorts of things. 
uh, getting carried over from your Figma designs over to Sketch. And so, uh, yeah, I hope that that's been uh, a valuable tutorial for anyone who's been trying to convert uh, Figma files to Sketch and not using those weird um, workarounds where you have to copy SVGs over to Sketch and uh, end up with this really awkward uh, non-editable version of your design in Sketch. You don't have to do any of that here. Um, as we've just seen, uh, we can get all of that benefit uh, with real layers from Figma over to Sketch automatically. You don't have to manually get your designers to uh, do this. You can just run the plugin, let it do all of the work for you and uh, get those real Sketch files that don't have any weird SVG hacks um, or anything like that. Uh, you just want to get those real uh, layers converted from Figma over to Sketch. Um, so yeah, thank you as always for tuning in. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial valuable. Uh, I hope that's something uh, you'll be able to take back to your team or try in your workplace uh, if, you're, if you're needing to convert your Figma designs uh, to Sketch for some reason. Uh, this plugin is the only one uh, that you can get to convert these Figma designs over to Sketch. Um, so feel free to give it a try. Uh, you can install it uh, today and give it a go on your own designs and see how it goes. Okay, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with more tutorials just like this one.